The relationship between the British royal family and Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, has been strained for years, but the divide appears to be widening even further. As King Charles III settles into his new role as monarch and Prince William prepares to one day become the king, there are growing indications that the brothers and the new king may increasingly resist taking calls and communications from the renegade couple. The roots of the royal rift can be traced back to 2020, when Harry and Meghan shocked the world by announcing their decision to step back as senior working royals and move to North America. The acrimonious departure, dubbed Megxit, by the British press, was followed by a series of bombshell interviews and tell-all books that further strained the family's relationships. In their explosive 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Harry and Meghan leveled a number of damaging accusations against the royal family, including claims of racism and a lack of support for Meghan's mental health struggles. The couple's subsequent memoir, Spare, and Harry's upcoming memoir have only served to further inflame tensions. Now, as King Charles III prepares to lead the monarchy and William moves closer to the throne, sources close to the royals suggest that the family may be increasingly reluctant to engage with Harry and Meghan, particularly when it comes to personal communications. There's a growing sense that William and Charles just don't want to deal with the drama anymore, says royal commentator Emma Cowing. They're both focused on their own roles and responsibilities, and having to constantly respond to the Sussexes' latest bombshell or grievance is frankly exhausting for them. The decision to distance themselves from Harry and Meghan is not one that the King and the Prince of Wales have taken lightly. The two brothers were once incredibly close, and the death of their mother, Princess Diana, only seemed to strengthen their bond. But the rift that has developed between the siblings in recent years has been deeply painful for the entire family. William and Charles truly wanted to support Harry and Meghan, but the way they've gone about airing their grievances has been incredibly hurtful and damaging, says royal historian Philippa Langley. They feel that no matter what olive branch they extend, it will just be used against them in another interview or book. Indeed, the Sussexes' tendency to go public with their criticisms of the royal family has been a major source of frustration for the King and the Prince of Wales. In the wake of Queen Elizabeth II's death in September 2022, Harry and Meghan's decision to release a statement condemning false reports about the status of their relationship with the royal family was seen by many as a particularly egregious breach of protocol. There's a sense that Harry and Meghan are constantly looking to score points or get the upper hand rather than genuinely wanting to heal the rift, says Cowing. William and Charles are tired of always having to be on the defensive and are increasingly inclined to simply ignore their calls and messages. The tension has only been exacerbated by the Sussexes' high-profile move to California, where they have established a new life for themselves and their two children, Archie and Lilibet. The physical distance, combined with the couple's decision to step back from royal duties, has made it increasingly difficult for the King and the Prince of Wales to maintain close ties. Harry and Meghan are essentially living in a different world now, says Langley. Their interests and priorities have diverged so much from the rest of the royal family that it's becoming harder and harder for them to relate to one another. One of the key points of contention is the Sussexes' ongoing efforts to maintain a public profile and influence. Their lucrative deals with streaming giants like Netflix and Spotify, as well as their involvement in various philanthropic initiatives, have been viewed by the royal family as attempts to capitalize on their royal connections for personal gain. William and Charles feel that every time Harry and Meghan do an interview or release a new project, it's just another attempt to undermine the monarchy and elevate themselves, says Cowing. They're tired of feeling like they have to constantly be on the defensive and are increasingly inclined to just let the Sussexes do their own thing. Adding to the tension is the ongoing debate over the Sussexes' children, 
Archie and Lilibet, and their royal titles. While Harry and Meghan have insisted that their children be referred to as Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, the royal family has been hesitant to formally bestow those titles, citing concerns about the Sussexes' use of the royal brand. There's a real worry that if Archie and Lilibet are given their titles, Harry and Meghan will turn around and use them for commercial gain or to further their own agenda, says Langley. William and Charles want to be sure that the use of those titles is in keeping with the traditions and values of the monarchy. As the King and the Prince of Wales navigate this delicate balancing act, there are growing signs that they may be increasingly inclined to simply disengage from the Sussexes altogether. Sources close to the royals suggest that both Charles and William have grown weary of the constant barrage of criticism and demands from Harry and Meghan, and are increasingly inclined to focus their attention on their own duties and responsibilities. There's a sense that William and Charles are just done with the drama, says Cowing. They've tried to extend olive branches and find common ground, but it's becoming increasingly clear that Harry and Meghan are not interested in reconciliation. At this point, the path of least resistance may be to simply ignore their calls and messages and focus on the task at hand. Of course, the decision to distance themselves from the Sussexes is not one that the King and the Prince of Wales have taken lightly. Both men are deeply cognizant of the importance of family and the potential long-term consequences of a permanent rift. But with the weight of the monarchy now resting squarely on their shoulders, they may ultimately decide that preserving the stability and integrity of the institution must take precedence over personal relationships. This is a deeply personal and emotional issue for William and Charles, but they have a responsibility to the crown that goes beyond their own personal feelings, says Langley. As much as they may want to reconcile with Harry and Meghan, they have to put the needs of the monarchy first, and that may mean cutting ties with the Sussexes if the dysfunction continues. Of course, the future of the relationship between the royal family and the Sussexes remains uncertain. Harry and Meghan have made it clear that they have no intention of backing down, and there is always the possibility that a dramatic turn of events could prompt a sudden reconciliation. But for now, the signs point to an increasingly distant and guarded relationship between the two camps, with the King and the Prince of Wales increasingly inclined to let the Sussexes chart their own course while focusing on the pressing challenges facing the monarchy. It's a sad and complex situation, but William and Charles have to do what they believe is best for the future of the royal family, says Cowing. And that may mean cutting ties with Harry and Meghan, at least for the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.